Yeah. Is there something you guys could work on for next year to get better and maybe to the finals next year? Oh, yeah. But in the beginning of the year, we want to be champs. You know, we're not, we not happy about going to the semifinals. So, obviously, next year, we're going to try to be champs again. You know, so it is. And real quick, just talk about your play, you're on 24 points. You know, it's pretty good for you know, a semifinal game. Not bad. 24, right? Yeah, is there anything you got to work on in the offseason? Winning. That's all it is. Winning. Bob, I mean, can you just talk about, you know, the guy to your left here? I mean, the last time you guys played North Carolina, I mean, he was making a second start. He even kind of admitted he was a little nervous. Didn't look nervous at all today. Can you just talk about his development in the last couple of months? I mean, Jay. I feel like me and Jay are one of the best backcourts in the country, honestly. And that's just. Just from just playing with that guy, living with that guy, seeing you know, how he works. He's an amazing player, and I feel like he definitely, he definitely showed the world. He showed the practicalist or whatever it is. We, we showed we belong in the big stage. And I, and I mean, like I said, that guy is amazing player. You, you seem to really like the big stage. What What is it about the bright lights that kind of brings out the best in your game? Uh, you're going to I don't. I don't want to. I get to with my day. I guess. I don't. I go into every game with the same mindset, What's just to win. How can I help my team win? And if, if one day is I need to play defense or rebound, then I'm going to play defense rebound. If one day I need to score, then I'm going to score. I'm going into every game trying to win. That's all it is. After you guys you know, played we so well there, together as a backcourt tandem this year, are you looking forward to your sophomore year with Jalen? Oh, hey, hey, hey. Becoming back nice stronger, and better. And I feel like we could definitely make some, 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 some real noise next year. For sure. When you see a guy like R.J. Davis, I mean, is that something like you guys kind of hope to be, like a great, like, you know, college player, guard that plays for so long? Like you and Jalen kind of have that same career path almost? Uh, like a uh, we have I'd be lying if I said I didn't want, yeah. you know, like the yeah, attention uh, and the name, so I guess, that comes with R.J. Davis, but uh, we're trying to be ourselves. We're trying to be the best. We're trying to be our best selves. You know, he's a great player, amazing player for sure, but I'm not trying to be him. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be the best bug, you know, so whatever whatever that takes for me to be the best self, that's what I'm going to take strides from doing. You weren't really here for him to say it, but Blake kind of put this one on himself today. Obviously, I know you would disagree with that analysis. What can you just say about Blake and what he's meant yeah, to him this year? Blake, uh, that's an amazing brother, I feel like. Like, Blake is an amazing teammate, an amazing guy, always upbeat, always energetic. And I knew he was going to put the band on himself, and it's not his fault at all. We lost as a team. We turned the ball over. We didn't rebound. We didn't do the little things to win. And that's what's going to happen. You're going to fall short when you, when you make the most mistakes. That's what's going to happen. What were they doing defensively that made it so hard to get him the ball? It felt like there, there were multiple possessions, especially in the first half, where you guys were even kind of drawing some stuff up for it, but you just couldn't get it in his hands. Um, I mean, they were, they, I guess their game plan was to shut him out. And they're a good team, so when they put their mind to something, most of the time it's going to happen. So we we got to be better in, in getting him involved. You know, we can't let a team dictate how the game's going to go. And that's kind of what we did in the first half. So we let them dictate how we will score. And we just got to get better on that. Is it frustrating because knowing you guys are a good team and there's computers saying you aren't? Yeah, that's frustrating. And I'm the last guy that, to, to know anything about that bracket stuff, you could ask them. But they tell me, they, I hear it, and they're saying that like we're we're nowhere near like being in, and I'm like, I don't understand. It. I, I don't understand. It. I feel like we, I feel like we're a lock, I feel like top four team in the ACC. I feel like we got to be in, but that's not what they're saying. So I don't make the rules. At worst, you are close. According to the computers, you are close. At worst. We're, we're close to being in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's not good enough. That's <laughs> not good enough at all. It's not good enough. Why should it be a definite? I feel like the ACC is a power, power five conference, and you finish top four in that in a power five conference. I feel like you should get in, right? I, I don't know. I feel like we're and we're a good team. It's not like we're bad. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's just my opinion, though. What will the reaction be if you guys don't get in? Do you guys think you'll still stay motivated and play in a different postseason? Sure. I mean, I. I could tell you for myself, I don't know how the other guys take it. I, I just took, put another chip on my shoulder. That's all it is. I feel like a lot of these guys in this locker room, I know them well enough to know that 
we were not the Hollywood Creed guys. We were always the guys that had to make ourselves known, and I feel like this would just add to, like I said, add another chip on our shoulder for us to come back stronger. Just to clarify, you're planning on being back here next year for your sophomore year at Pitt? For sure. You know, you had a triple-double first game of your college career and then ending it not right now in the ACC tournament, depending on what happens in postseason play. What is the biggest takeaway that you've taken from your game and how you've grown? Uh, I would say the biggest takeaway is... Hmm, you said my game? Mm -hmm. My game, I would say the biggest takeaway is I got to learn how to get kind of craftier and get into the basket. That's all it is. I feel like I, feel like I can shoot threes, I can shoot pull-ups, but... Being a solidify myself as a three-level scorer, I feel like I can get better at.